Hey guys, FunshineX here. Welcome to my very first VR game. Uh, we did the unboxing and the setup in the kind of the test tutorial world. And I saw, thought long and hard about what was going to be my first game out on my channel, the first game I was going to record and play, and kept coming back to Tilt Brush. I don't know, it's just the creative nature of me. I am not an artist, but somehow this game just like captivates me and the ability to just create things all around me so oh a little bird cool. hello <laughs> i'm so excited we are going to do play a little tilt brush if you don't know what this game is it's basically painting in 3d um there's a lot of cool people that could probably make a lot cooler stuff than i can but i can still make some cool stuff even without it so first we're going to kind of do a little bit of review tutorial demo kind of thing then we'll actually go and um, build something cool, create something cool. And what I hope to do is maybe continue this series maybe once a week. And when I put one out, you guys will comment what you would like me to paint the next week. And so we can kind of have a little fun fun with it that way. So um, definitely in the comments below, if you would like me to paint something in Tilt Brush, put it down there. And we'll see what we can do. So first going to do a little tutorial. It's going to say hold trigger to paint. So we're just going to reach up here and a beautiful squiggly oh I love it it glows all right and then in the next part of the toilet it's gonna say swipe and right now it looks like a controller but watch this oh man <laughs> there's this like 3d palette I guess this is so cool and how you control it is you aim the other controller at it <laughs> isn't that sweet so right now we're doing we're making um, light but if we wanted to do ink we can just go get that brush and now we're painting with ink and you can see it's 3d so if I reach up here I can paint right in that same little point but if I paint over here you know that kind of thing so and I can walk around it and see it oh that's kind of freaky it's like oh poked yourself in the eye <laughs> um, but yeah they've got like stars that just kind of twinkle and the fire is really cool we're gonna change colors for that so we need to swipe over to the color picker and pick some kind of orange color. Maybe make it a little bit darker. Yeah. Now we come down here on the floor. Make a nice little fire here. Yeah, there we go. Give off a little bit of light. Cool. So we got our fire. Now we've got some oil painting. That's cool. You can see the brush strokes. Paper. See, each, each brush is a little bit different. Some are kind of the same. Splats, kind of like a three dimensional kind of changes as you paint. Um, flat is just your nice paintbrush when you want to do a big solid area. Use that one. Taffy kind of stretches as you paint. You kind of pull it. It gets that little weird things like that. Velvet ink. That one's for nice for writing I think because it's so small. And you can actually change the size like right now I'm at the smallest but then if I scroll over this way all the way to the right then I've got the biggest. Um, brush you can change the sizes uh, we've got a highlighter that's kind of a transparent version of the, the mark thing and then the marker a little bit fatter <laughs> there we go and then you've got this arrow and you can switch to the second thing which I always forget about that these are here but these are kind of more like brushes here I, I don't know but you can do like leaves maybe we'll do a different color leaf here get like a yellow leaf but that's kind of just, if you want to put these on the floor, let's, let's put some leaves in our fire here. There we go. Got some leaves. Um, what other brushes do we have? Get some snow. <laughs> and these are kind of particles, but they'll keep forming wherever I put them. So if I put a really dense area right here, just keep pulling it down. They'll kind of form some snow there. So that's pretty cool. Um, wire, this one's just kind of like a very rounded thing you can kind of see if you zoom in there. Whoa! That was really weird. <laughs> I think if you get the controllers in the way of the tracking system, I think that's when it kind of jumps like that, so be careful. Alright, embers. So we can have, um, let's get some glowy embers here. Bring that down, get some kind of orangish. There we go. Now we've got some embers coming out of our fire. Sweet. It's snowing all around me. Duct tape. Yeah, it looks kind of the same as some of these other ones, really. Not much different there. Uh, thick paint. Hmm. 
don't know what that one would be useful for. <laughs> Maybe we could make some logs here in our fire. Out of this paintbrush. <laughs> Something like that. There's a little fire there. And this one I like. It's coarse bristles, but I think it looks like fur. So we can get more of a brownish color here. And if we want to add some fur to some kind of animal, we can do that. Uh, we've got smoke. Uh, what color smoke do we want? How about some green, like, really misty smoke over here? Like, ooh. <laughs> Sweet. Somewhere over there. Um, wow, this is so much stuff. <laughs> and then we're almost done. So here's plasma. Let's get some blue plasma coming out of this smoke. Whoa. Freaky, it moves. <laughs> that is weird. Okay. We have to find a use for that. Streamers are cool. Make some like shooting star type things out of those. Then you've got the rainbow. Let's put a rainbow on the back wall there. It even makes sound as <laughs> you're making it. It's like, ah. Cool. There's our rainbow there in the back. Then we've got hyper color. <laughs> this one's crazy. It's like, whoa. So not only is it weird, but it like moves as it's going. Cool. And that's all our brushes. So we've got all those different brushes. We can select any kind of color we want. Um, we kind of... You've got the, like, I don't know, switch between the color wheel, but then also the standard thing that's like in Photoshop. So whatever you're familiar with, is, you can go with there. Um, now we can trash our whole painting, and that would just clear it. We can also take a, a gallery picture. So I click on that, and now I can stand back and take a photo of my creation. Whoa, just step through the rainbow. Don't do that. So we'll go ahead and take a picture there. And there's our little photo, and it's going to say save. Yep, save it. I I think it puts it on Steam. I'm not sure. It just fell on the fire. <laughs> okay. But then we can view our gallery. Um, there's the one we just did, and there's some ones that my kids did right there. Yeah, so we got this. There we go. And then you can get the showcase, and this goes, I think, out to Steam. I could be wrong, um, and shows what other people have made. That is really cool. There's not a lot of them right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know what copyright issues are with them, so I don't want to put them on, on my uh, channel right now until I figure that out. Um, then this last panel here, we've got more pictures. Um, I don't know what that does. I really don't know what that did. Oh well, took a picture of it. We got undo and redo. We got eraser, and that'll erase like an entire like brush, not just a little point, but it'll take a whole brush away. You have brush select, and if that one, if you're like, oh, I drew with this leaves, and I can't remember what color it was and what brush it was, I can just select it, and now I've got a leaf brush. So that was really cool. Um, straight edge, you basically click and drag. What is going on? Come on. <laughs> and then, there you go. Let me move more closer to the center of the room here. Maybe that'll work better. Everything's behind me. <laughs> And then, so that's the straight edge again, just like that, so you can get nice straight lines if you need them. Doesn't really work with a leaf brush, but the mirror mode, that puts a mirror right down the center. And I can actually hit the grip button to, to rotate that and move it. So say I want a mirror like right here. Now, let's go brush select and get this taffy here. If I, oh, I don't want straight edge mode on. If I draw out, you see how we get a mirror mode. Cool. <laughs> so that's helpful for making, you know, humanoids or something. And then the top one here is our environment. So right now we're just kind of in this open, like, gray, whoa, that's freaky, um, gray environment with mountains in the distance. But I can switch that. We can go into the, oh, this is called standard, the night sky. If you want to build some kind of spaceship or alien or planet or something, this one's really cool for that. Uh, then we've got the space. So now we're actually out in space. I guess night sky was more for if you're on a planet looking in the night sky. Now we've got actual space. Um, dress form. Let me clear really quick to get the look of the dress form. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I'm standing in front of it. So this one, 
you got a dress warm and you could basically like design clothing <laughs> or something you know if you're a interior uh, designer you could make something really cool with this I'm making a taffy dress basically I have no idea I'm not a designer there there's the new style for 2010 2010 <laughs> 2016. Yeah, but it's probably 2010. Uh, okay. And then what else we got? We got a few more. The pedestal. Let's trash this again. Come on, trash. So you can see I've got this 3D pedestal here, and I can kind of build on it. So if you want to make some kind of cool little art art piece that you want to... Let's make a rocket ship. Blast off. My, my art's going to get better, guys. That's not my real art. Okay. <laughs> and then we've got uh, the snowman. My son really likes this one. You just get this snowy, beautiful little world, and you can decorate your snowman. So let's give him some evil red eyes. Some scary mouth. Oh, he's like, his mouth is, oh, he looks like a zombie. <laughs> he needs, like, just, like, scars all over the place. And there's, like, flesh is coming undone. I don't know. His hand. Like that. Ah, he's coming to get me. All right, and then I think I think that's it. Then we've got like some just default colors: blue, white, and black worlds. All right, so the first thing I want to do in tilt brush for you guys is to make my avatar. So we're gonna make a fun shine here. So let's go ahead and clear it out. It's already cleared. For the environment, I think let's make him on the pedestal. Sounds good. So here he is. Or here is where he will stand. So we need to get, I think I'm going to start with a good yellow here. That's actually a really good color for him. And uh, let's get just like the, um, something small. Maybe this velvet ink I think was pretty good. No, how about the marker? And we'll make it really small. I just want to kind of outline him, kind of give it a, a general diagram. So his feet are going to be here, standing on the pedestal. And uh, so something like that. And then he's going to have some legs come up like this. <laughs> and then he's got a big chubby tummy. And then he's got some arms coming out like that. And he's got his tummy symbol, and then he's got his big head, and his ears, and we'll draw a face on there. So that's kind of our outline to, to we need to make him three-dimensional, because this is, this is painting in virtual reality. I can't have him flat. I mean, this looks horrible. So we got to make him 3D. So let's get, let's start with uh, something like flat, maybe? And maybe we can... Uh, shape him up here. So he kind of needs some rounded legs. And we don't have to worry about much of this because we're going to cover him in fur later. Later, So we can do that. Let's give him some feet. Need to stretch out a little bit. Like that. Okay, there's some good feet. And how fat is he going to be? Probably about that big, I think. I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and make, I can't have him, you know, like look inside here and kind of fill him in a little bit. There we go. Okay. And we'll just keep going around like that. Get a little bit skinnier up here. All right. Something like that. <laughs> you just add volumes, you know, it's like pottery almost. Here. Do you want to look at him from every angle just to make sure? Oops, see, like I have a big gap right here. I'm close to the edge, so I gotta be careful. Okay. Looking good, Funshine Bear. Alright, now we want some arms, so we'll do those as well. Just kind of curl those down here. Okay, and do another one. <laughs> He's got like some weird things going on there. And let's go ahead and give him a full neck. And now we need to go with the face. So let's go just kind of bring it out like that, maybe. A 
three-dimensional painting is so much harder. It's so much more fun now. I wish there were some primitives in here, like maybe you could just say like add a sphere or add a rectangle or something. That would be really cool. All right, so there's there's the base. We need to give them some ears, um, probably like that. Oh, actually, it's really good. <laughs> All right, now we need to decorate him. So I think the first thing we'll do, let's work on his face. So he's gonna have some, we'll start with some white here to give him some eyeballs. And let's maybe make those, at a, I don't know, with, with the marker as well, I think. <laughs> so we're going to start in here, make it nice and small. And he's going to have an eyeball right there. And an eyeball right here, kind of floating in space. <laughs> Whoops, stepped on the cord. And then we'll get some kind of, I don't know, what color are his eyes? I don't know it, so I'll just choose blue. There you go. Kind of looking crazy. I think he needs like very much uh, cartoony eyes though. So let's brush select on that white and give him some much bigger eyes. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's give him a nice pink nose here. Uh, give me a more of a pink. There we go. And I think they have heart noses. Am I right? Cameras have heart noses, or they have a heart. No, I think that's right. All right, and then uh, we'll give him like some some red lips. He can be smiling. No, that looks a little good. Uh, what if I use the wire? Uh, I need to undo first. <laughs> oh my goodness, this looks nothing like French Bear. Um, use a little thing connected there because he's a bear. Now we need to get, like, uh, wire's good. Let's get some kind of, like, whitish brown. Ah, oh, that looks horrible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there it goes. We need his tummy symbol here, so we're going to paint with white again. We've kind of already got a white, but let's get a yellowish white here. And I need something fat. Let's do duct tape. Let's just go ahead and paint on a tummy symbol. Yeah, got some duct tape. His tummy's duct taped on. And then let's go back to our uh, oil painting. <laughs> we need to get some yellow again here. I'm draw the sun. So let's get a big here. And what the heck is going on here? That is not the right color. Uh, that's like greenish. Come on. A bit more yellowish. There we go. Um, I do not like that brush, so let's go with pink. Alright, so there is the sun. Now we need to do a little rays. Come out of here. Go now it needs a happy face. So let's go back to this really skin skinny marker, and we'll do this out of white. The sun's got like a pointy nose for some reason. <laughs> he looks like a cat. This whole face is wrong. Oh, we gotta redo this face. So the thing with the eraser is we can just be like, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. And I think I just erased part of his face. Uh, so we'll brush select this and then fill in his face again. I don't know what his face looks like. Maybe, maybe it's more chubby. Like this. Is that? No, oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Guys, I can't do it. <laughs> Why can't I get this right? Oh well, let's put some fur on him and maybe I'll think about the face here. Um, so the fur brush is here, that's this guy. And we probably have the right color, so let's just start adding fur. Now let's make it big. Just give him some hair. Come on, come on here. There we go. It's kind of spiky hair, but it's hair nonetheless. Maybe a little 
little smaller down here in the smaller parts. Alright, and we can't forget about his backside. What's your backside looking like, Funshine? Okay, he's pretty hairy. That's a pretty hairy back, if I do say so myself. Oh, what are we going to do with his face? Hairy ears, a little tuft of hair at the top. Oh, need more down here. Made a little mess up right there, so the easiest thing is just to go through the eraser and erase that. Cool. <laughs> if I could get this face right, we'd be gelding. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm going to try one more time and redeem myself with the face. So what I forgot is his eyes are actually um, a very dark color. And they fill actually most of the eyeball and that might help make it a little bit better okay <laughs> not looking much better yet um, and then he has where's the uh, here in the white this area is actually um, Whoa, well, that's too big. Is all kind of white. Oh, he's already looking better. Okay, okay, let's do it. Uh, undo one more time. I want to make it a little bit more yellowish. Like that. Okay. <laughs> there you are, Funshine Bear. You're a crazy looking Funshine Bear, but you're a Funshine Bear nonetheless. Then we'll get a black. Outline his mouth, maybe. Well, that's not really a black. What happened there? We can talk, and maybe he has a little bit of nose there. I'm looking better, right? Um, should we give him some uh, outline here, maybe? <laughs> you know what? Let's. <laughs> a little bit older, wilder, fun chat there. There we go. And then he needs some, like a red tongue, and I think we're good. Okay, much better, guys. Now it looks much like a front shot bear. So we got to redo this snapshot because this is looking much better. He's he's psychotic. I can I can give you that, but he's <laughs> looking much better than he did. And we'll save that for the thumbnail. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Tilt Brush, my inaugural VR video. If you guys liked it, make sure you hit that like button so I can keep doing it. Although I'm probably gonna keep doing it anyway, no matter how many likes I get, because I have so much fun doing this. Even though I've got some psychotic-looking bear in front of me staring at me, and I'm kind of getting a little scared of this little sunshine here with a big nose. Um, but yeah, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel to see more VR content. We've got tons of games planned. I think I've got over 30 games now uh, that'll be going out. Uh, if there's a particular game that you would like to see, uh, please put it in the comments below. If there's something you would like me to sculpt, put it in the comments below. And uh, we'll see what we're going to make in the next episode of Tilt Brush. And uh, don't forget, any donations to my channel this month will go to purchasing VR games. And I'm pretty happy. So <laughs> definitely, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking with it. Thanks for not making fun of my horrible art. You probably did. The comments are probably full of flames. We'll see. And I'll see you next episode. Catch you later. Bye.